Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. A lot of you have been asking what's on my iPhone, so I figured I would do this video and show you guys what is on my iPhone. I'm just kidding, absolutely no one asked for that video. I don't think anyone actually cares what is on my iPhone, but I figured I would do it anyways because for some reason I just wanna show you guys what's on my iPhone because not gonna lie, I worked really hard on it for iOS 14. Just kidding, not that much, but anyways, these are just very popular videos, so I thought I would join the trend. All right, so this is my iPhone. It's the iPhone 11. I got this back in September because my iPhone 8 was like dying on me thanks to apple you have to get a new phone every three years or else it stops working anyways this is the iphone it's the white one and i have a little sticker in it it's from zero bay it came with a package that i got from another company and then i have a little white and black marble pop socket because i am incapable of holding my phone like a normal person i drop it all the time now without this so i'm stuck with a pop socket on my phone case for the rest of my life all right so when you turn on my phone this is my lock screen it's just a photo of my boyfriend and i we were just getting bubble tea at a place called coco i don't know if it's in other places besides canada or ontario but anyways it's a really good bubble tea and i just took like a cute little mirror photo because not gonna lie that that bubble tea place was so fancy anyways that's my lock screen all right so this is my home screen we just have a widget it's just the a calendar we got facetime calendar photos camera settings safari youtube contacts apple store and then in extras we just have some extra things that i don't care to have out so we have the clock voice memos find my iphone calculator weather my account which is my phone provider which is fido facebook google maps and outlook after that on the next page we got compass wallet spv and widget smith following that we got the notes app um this is all of my video ideas my bad <laughs> and then we have the health folder this just has health and like period tracking apps i then just have another widget normally this is pretty filled up with like a bunch of like work things but tomorrow's sunday so there's absolutely nothing i am a free person the second page is basically where i hang out all the time i have a little widget it just says if it makes you happy then it is not a waste of time life lessons with emily we then got instagram love instagram here's my instagram if you guys want to follow me i have a cute little feed going on kind of it's kind of failing but this is my instagram we then have snapchat then tiktok this is my tiktok um i currently have a video that's doing well it has 24.1k views that's the most views i've ever gotten on tiktok so uh yeah i'm i'm riding that wave <laughs> and then we got spotify if you guys want to follow my spotify um go ahead following that we have aesthetics this has vsco in it lightroom facetune huiji which is like a super cute like little vintage camera app unfold canon connect canva and unum 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 i don't know how you're gonna say that these are all of my like editing apps mainly i just use vsco so in like vsco basically um yeah i just have all of the photos and stuff that i edit next up is a folder called oh fun this has netflix youtube studio my gopro app twitch because a few of my friends have like twitch channels and i like to watch them and support them and then we have facebook messenger discord which i don't even open because it stresses me out there's 12,000 notifications um nintendo switch 5 tv and google home for my google hey google what time is it 4 42 p.m Thanks, Google. That's Google. I got her free from Spotify because Spotify has like these little things where they give away free Google minis or like Alexa sometimes, I think. I don't know, but I took one. Next up is the last page. All of my folders are so organized. I can't have a cluttered phone. It stresses me out, but we have a folder called money. We have a TD Canada, which is my bank app, if you didn't know, if you're not from Canada. I then have TD My Spend, which kind of just tracks my spending, and I don't open that because sometimes it stresses me out. We then have a Zoom, which I don't really use on my phone. I just have it there. OR Capture, you know, that was for work. I also don't use that, so I can probably delete this now. Um, rewards, Google Rewards, and PayPal. Next, in a folder called Ugh, we have a transit app, which is like my transit where I live. Um, Presto, which is the, the card you swipe or like beep on the little machine when you want to get onto a transit bus. So those two are like connected. We have Reminders, Air Miles, which is like a point system. We have Flip, which is basically, it's just a bunch of, um, Flip is basically just for people that like to price match. AKA me, I price match a lot of things. <laughs> we then just have Kijiji and a shop. Shop is basically just, it like tracks your orders and stuff. Next up in a folder called Bleh, we have Uber, Uber Eats, and Lyft. Ones that I have not used in forever. Maybe Uber Eats, but like the rest, nah, I haven't used that in forever. In the next folder I call Board, we have Neko at Sume. It's so cute. It's the cutest cat app game you guys needed. I'm pretty sure it had like a huge blow up a couple years ago, but 
you know, I still play it every now and then. You basically just um, fill cat bowls with food and cats come to your door. They have Cookie Patches, Willow, Halloween, Gabriel, Freddy, Sunny, Socks, Moo. Pretty cute. You can just buy decorations, make a little cat house. Up next is a game called Dots. I literally used to play this in grade 9 French class all the time and my teacher would be like, dude, you're literally failing class. Stop going on your iPad and playing Dots. And I'd be like, don't tell me what to do. Honestly, I literally only play Dots when I am extremely bored and don't have access to data or Wi-Fi. Next up is the iconic Candy Crush. I still play this game every now and then. Sometimes I get back into it, but for the most part, it stresses me out. And then we have Pottery. Pottery is so chill. If you need a chill game, you can literally just make pottery, like literally watch this. We can like, can make a cute vase, you know, make like a little Kim Kardashian shaped one, pretty cute, you can fire it. And then the best part is once you decorate it, you can sell it and make virtual coins to buy even more paint and decorations for your pottery. It's like a whole game. Up next is Terrarium. If you ever saw those ads that are like, oh my God, you can make little plant friends and collect coins and stuff. This was the game that I fell for and it's like cookie clicker, but for plants, you can just spam click plants. I used to be obsessed with this game. Like literally look at all my plants, but uh, yeah, I haven't touched this game in a while. We then just have Pokemon Go because I started playing it because of my boyfriend and then an app called like Poke Genie which like tells you like levels and stuff and then Pokemon Home they're all just literally connected but yeah I play Pokemon Go with my boyfriend sometimes not gonna lie it's kind of fun. It's also just a really good pastime for like when I'm extremely bored but um yeah that's what I do in my free time. And then in the last folder it's called Ooh, these are basically just things I don't know where else to put. Um, we have Pinterest. Oh, one of my pictures, like videos, they're going kind of like viral on Pinterest. It's like a little TikTok I made that I posted on Pinterest when I made like that beaded phone charm thing. It has 381,000 views, 12,000 saves. It's doing pretty well. Next up we have Collect. It's basically we transfer, but you can collect all your files on it. And then we have Reddit and the Starbucks app. I don't even go to Starbucks, but I do have the app. And then Tim Hortons. I love Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons, please sponsor me one day. I would love to get free iced coffee from you. But yeah, sometimes if I like, don't have my card, I'll just use the Tim's app to scan my points. Then we have the Garage Clothing Store and a thing called IQIY. I honestly, I don't know. Um, I was trying to watch like a, a Korean video, but I couldn't find it on the internet. So someone told me to download this app, but I haven't touched it since. But um, yeah, that's just kind of on my phone. <laughs> oh, and then there's like a cute little widget smith of my lock screen because I just thought it looked cute on my home screen too. I forgot to tell you what's at the bottom, but there's the phone, messages app, mails, and Apple Music. Even though I don't even use Apple Music, that's just always been on my phone. Literally every single phone I've had, I always keep Apple Music there, even though I absolutely never use it. In the notification tab, I just have a calendar and then I have a reminder just says, Slow progress, it's still progress, do what you love, I love what you do. If you don't know, that's my favorite quote ever. I used to have like so many sayings of it in my room, but I took most of them down. And then pain is impermanent, literally because I have the body of a 92 year old that I have to constantly remind myself, this will be over one day, you are not going to die, hopefully. I then just have the weather app and then um, batteries because I like to see how charged my AirPods are and if I need to charge them or not. But yeah that is everything on my iphone if you guys want to leave a comment you definitely should i reply to all of them i love talking to you guys and if you want to see more videos from me the subscribe button is also just down below and please like this video if you guys did enjoy it it helps me out a ton like literally please i think the youtube algorithm hates me but yeah anyways all my social media links are down below and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye